Poffet I'm Crystal Parker reporting from Chief Kapua Park in Haganya with past president of the Concerned Catholics of Guam, Greg Harris. So what brings us out here today? Hi, Crystal. Well, we're here again to continue to deliver a message to now Archbishop Pond uh, that he still has not acted on what we've presented to him a year and a half ago when he first came out in January 15. And, and we gave him documents. We had a meeting with him. And then for him to come to Guam now in June of 2016 and say he has to familiarize himself with what's going on in Guam, you know, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's not acceptable, it's not believable. We gave him documents so, and we spoke to him. So if he says he doesn't know what's going on, either totally ignored what we told him, forgot it, and maybe, maybe threw away the documents we gave him. So uh, that's not acceptable. And he has to take action. He can't just keep talking and, and making offers and trying to pacify us, he needs to take action. We still have the three R's, remove Aperon, restore the priest, return the land that, that Aperon had given away without the, the due uh, process of the proper procedure of going through the, the two groups here in, in, on island and of course uh, running the uh, request to the Pope. As a concerned Catholic of Guam, what's your reaction to Father Louis Brilliard's recent admission that he had molested boys on Guam? Well. Um, I think it, it, back then there was a lot of talk about Father Louis Brudart and now that he's accepting that, um, that's, that's um, you know, uh, admitting and, and uh, admitting uh, making a mistake and uh, taking action, apologizing for it um, is, is a step in the right direction. It'll help the, the victims heal, uh, but it's not necessarily enough. Uh, he needs to do it either personally or through the church reach out to the victims don't give the victims a phone number and say call us during eight to five monday through friday that's not going to work that's not reaching out to the victims they have to be active about it and go out and reach the victims contact them individually and then um and then that add that to the part of the investigation and then offer um what the church can do to uh, bring these men uh, to heal bring closure and to, to provide them assistance, whether it's professional counseling or financial assistance to, 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 um, you know, to reach healing. And how confident are you in the Vatican's investigation into the allegations made against Aperon? Well, because we've heard nothing yet, uh, you know, it's, uh, it leads us to believe, or at least me to believe, that the Vatican's not doing anything. What's wrong with the Vatican saying to Guam, we hear you, we've got some reports, we're actively working on it, we, we'll give you something within a timeline. But again, for Archbishop Han to say everything tapes, t takes time, yes it does, but those that are taking action also assign a time frame to, the, to their corrective action. You can't just say, well, you know, uh, I'll help you and uh, I'll let you know when, and, and they never do it. So it's like a promise that's made and not kept, you know. Do you have any idea where Archbishop Anthony Aperon is right now? I, I don't. I haven't heard anything. And that's another thing that's unbelievable for Archbishop Han to say he does. He has no idea of the whereabouts of, of uh, Archbishop Aperon. That's unbelievable. I, I, I can't believe that, especially coming from him. He's, he's the Rome representative, and he's here as the, as the apostolic administrator. And so for him to say he doesn't know where Aperon's at, yeah, that's not, <laughs> that's not I, I don't think that's true. He knows. Um, but uh, uh, he chooses to say he doesn't know. So again, that could be interpreted as a, another lie to the Catholics in Guam, you know, so I don't believe it. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, Archbishop Pallon, if you're sincere with what you said you're gonna do, start taking action. Show us some signs, show us some real action. Otherwise, it's just talk. That's what this question mark is. On what are you gonna do about the issues in Guam? What are you gonna do about defrocking Apron? Thanks so much, Mr. Perez. Again, he is the past president for the Concerned Catholics of Guam. Brian Jace, back to you.